Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Thursday, December 15th, 2016. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the only authorized souls are child souls from the denser, deeper dimensions, as well as Nature Realms Guardians. And we continue to have uh, an enormous problem, uh, which is a play on words, with big souls coming in from much larger dimensions and stoppering the crown and blocking the airflow. That's true. This is causing enormous problems for us, and it's foolish to ignore them. We, we have to change. We can't continue to pretend that this isn't happening. Something has to change. Something has to give. As always, our foundational intention is to do what is ours to do right now in all dimensions, mm -hmm. to live our own individual soul plans, to do what is ours to do right now in all dimensions, in order to manifest the divine plan, no matter what anyone else does or doesn't do. And with that, the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin. Somebody is talking right away. They're really trying to clarify, get it on the record with someone else, that this is a 24-hour-a-day operation and that the work doesn't stop. And they ask, how can we tell? And uh, it has to do with the dreams, the dreaming, the That's quote true. dreaming, which is simply awareness of what's going on in other dimensions when the, when the bodies in whatever dimension we're experiencing sentience normally during quote waking hours when those bodies are asleep then we are aware of what's going on in other dimensions and if that activity uh, mimics well, somebody saying mimics, mimics or carries out or continues on the same theme then the work is going on 24 7 if the themes shift then something else is occurring that's true does that answer the question it does seem to answer the question yeah it does that's okay. true but now, in order to manifest the divine plan, no matter what anyone else does or doesn't do, what now? Because we have this long-standing teaching that's been given to the collective of presence in this host life that you sleep with pigs, you get to smell like pigs. That's true. And we also have a shift change that seems to occur every single night, as well as multiple times during every single day. But in the overnight, it's extremely predictable. Yes, and true. we don't seem to have a say in who comes in and who doesn't come in because the presences seem to be breaking divine law. They don't acknowledge uh, that which normally would be acknowledged. Yes, that's true. Lawless behavior in the out-of-body state. And what do we mean by out-of-body? In every dimension, there are presences that are kind of ambient to that dimension. They are of the same density level as the dimension. Yeah, uh, you can true. tell because uh, you hit something and it hits you back. That's uh, true. We're of the same density. Uh, they wanted me to hit you. Yeah. Uh, Oh, okay, good. That's better yeah. than what they were suggesting. Yeah, they were suggesting bonk. Yeah, bonk you yeah. in the face. Bonk, yeah. and that's, a, that's a bad plan. That's true. But there are, in all dimensions, presences who are of the same density as that dimension, and that has always been the case. And in addition, there have always been less dense presences uh, moving amongst the more dense presences but supposedly they were uh, of higher vibration and had That's helpful true. intent. They were here to help angels among us. Over some period of time that we're unsure of exactly how long this period of time is, but over a period of time, the divine delivery system has broken down. Uh, divine laws have ceased to be enforced. That's true. And now presences from less dense dimensions feel free to come in and, and body snatch, take lives and do what they want with them for as long as they want and to joyride, basically joyride lives and then just leave the lives in the ditch. And we watch it happening all around in this dimension where it's easy to observe and that's true. as far as we know nobody's exempt from this that's true not trees either not trees that tree was trying to say well that doesn't happen to me oh interesting what do you think happened to those dead pines over there 
Mm. Or do you think they did that to themselves? Where's the disconnect? Now I feel tears. This is the same guy who was arguing with us the other day. That's right, that's true. <sighs> Good luck to you, friend. How am I exactly like that? How are we all exactly like that? How do we argue with inconvenient reality that's just too scary and we don't want to deal with it? There's a head clearing feeling. But now, in order to manifest the divine plan, no matter what anyone else does or doesn't do, well, first things first, acknowledging inconvenient reality is crucial until we're willing to do that nothing works and That's so we, we really need to acknowledge that we don't seem to be able to stop the barrage of attacks from above there doesn't seem to be anything anyone can do uh, to stop it that's true and given the reality of that and given the reality of the soul contracts clang 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 and given the reality of the karmic alligators who seem uh, committed to pinning the karmic tail on the densest donkey yes, <laughs> it's true. Uh, then it's incumbent on us to on each of us on all of us to do everything that we can in the dimensions in which we're experiencing primary sentience or primarily experiencing sentience or both of those that's true to do everything we can to guard our sense gates from Buddhism that's the term sense gates guard the input from the denser dimension so that it is not a drain on our vibrations and resources. That's true. And what do we know? We know that everybody wants to be in an environment that supports them. Everybody. Yes, that's true. And probably that's what's going on here, why these lives are so, somebody says, tasty. Tasty. Yeah. tasty. I hear the tasty guy. Yeah, they want to come in here because it's a it's a choice assignment. That's true. Seeing the room where the speaker is, who was just talking about the tasty assignments, and that room looks like or sounds like it's in a war zone. Mm -hmm. At first, I was just hearing his words as he was speaking, and it sounded like there was static or some kind of background noise. Crashing. And now there's crashing, and it could be bomb sound. Mm -hmm. And he's alone in I'm the room. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, friend. Look up. Find the rings of light. And go up. We're all going to, quote, die, unquote. We're all going to shift dimensions. That's it's true. a part of sentience. Just look up. Find the rings of light and go up. Why are you afraid to go up? He says he's afraid. Why? Yeah. Why are you afraid to go up? Mm, I haven't done what I was supposed to do. Uh, they already know that. They already know that. Uh, it's okay. Nobody does what they're supposed to do. Look up. Find the rings of light. Go up. Go ahead. Merging in with the aspects of ourselves who want to go up. Aligning with those aspects of ourselves. And looking up. Finding the rings of light. And going up. It feels like such a relief to let go. That's true. Now there's flow moving through us. That's true. Pulsing at the bottom. Intending to pulse this up to the level above where that speaker was in the room with the bombs outside. <coughs> As if to help him up to a, to a level that would be high enough that he would feel like something really good just happened. That's true. <coughs> Find a snowy field that's straight up the central axis, not those ones over there, the ones that are straight up. It looks like scientists on Antarctica, but it's supposedly at the North Pole, and so we should be alert. Is that Antarctica, or is it a... Oh, now they're tugging Greenland over to the North Pole. That's true. They're saying it drifted. <laughs> That's true. That may or may not be, I don't know. That is what they're that saying. That is what they're saying. All right. Uh, to set up on the North Pole, and they're studying things. And yes, And they have true. a really sad tone and friends I think that what's going on is you're studying too long the time for studies has passed 
now it's the time for action. It's the time for us to go with what the data strongly suggests and act on it. it. The time for action has come for each of us to take action. What can each of us as individuals do right now to manifest the divine plan? What can we do? What can we do right now, each of us as individuals? One thing we can do is help exhale the clouds of dead That's true. from the dimensions that are smaller than the dimension in which we're experiencing, experiencing primary sentience or That's primarily true. experiencing sentience. Just allow them to exhale through us to get at least closer to a consistent source of truth, integrity, and inspiration than they currently are. So at least we aren't blocking the way from dead children who are trying to get to God. That's true. Let them roll through us. And we do that by affiliating with the aspects of self who also want to get to a better place and going up. I'm seeing someone way up high maybe in one of those snowy fields, one of those very high, high levels of experience. Yes. And he's seeing a lot of presences pop up, appear, kind of on the floor or the ground where he's standing. Yes. All these, they look like refugees, tired, scared, dirty refugees. Yes. Appearing around him. Yes. I see that. I also see dark, uh, dirty, uh, smudged presences who are coming up and then sinking down and coming up yes, and sinking I see down those too. and coming up and sinking down. And what would I know? What that would probably suggest is that they are uh, meditating or sleeping or something like that. They're, they rise up and then they sink back down. Rise up and sink back down. They're not letting go of the body yes, host in whatever dimension they normally experience waking sentience. That's true. Inside of. The scientist is scooping up the dirty refugee presences who are coming up, and he's seeing the other presences who are just popping up through the floor and then disappearing again, and popping up through the floor and disappearing again. And he has this feeling that this is significant, this is important. Yeah, they're supposed to stay up there. Yeah. And they're refusing to, quote, die, unquote. Yes. They're choosing to sink back into some situation that's clearly horrifying. Yes, that's true. Rather than just let go in the overnight and be out of it, be done. That's true. Fascinating. In other words, they're struggling for their right to suffer terribly. That's true. And the feeling of the yeah. scientist right now is like, I hope that isn't true for me, too. Oh, it is. It is. It is. It's it, we can assume it's true for all of us. We can assume that's what we're all doing. That's true. Just assume it is. Assume it is. And now what? And now what? Look up. Find the rings of light. Gather as many of these refugees as you can who aren't going to struggle and weigh you down. That's true. Find the rings of light and go up. This way, this way, this way to the light. And now suddenly it's lighter and clearer, and I don't see that scientist anymore. Correcting the errors. For, For the, the year, year of 2016. 2016. And again, we remind presences that if they have taken, used, or borrowed energy from these host lives during 2016, there is an amnesty program until December 31st at That's midnight. True. Return what you've taken, and it will not be uh, charged against you. But if you don't return what you've taken for the year of 2016, then you'll be assessed treble damages. And look up, the, everybody seems to agree that this is standard procedure. It's not even wacky and out there. That's true. So you have until December 31st at midnight to return the energy that you've taken, used, stolen. You can apply whatever word you wish. That's true. If you have participated in the energy of these host lives, you have until December 31st at midnight to return it. Somebody wants to know what's going to happen to those people if they don't return it. I, I don't know. I don't have that job. I don't know. The game theory would say they would start to uh, feel low on energy. That's my guess. I That's could be true. wrong. I don't know. That's not my job. We'll find out.
That's true. They'll find out. I don't know whether or not the presences in yeah, this host life find will find out. It's so important for each of us to be part of the exhale. We all want to feel that surely uh, I, quote unquote, whoever is speaking, surely I am not supposed to be part of those who leave. Surely I am supposed to be part of those who stay behind to help others leave. And uh, somebody's got to, to set the example and make it trendy to go. That's true. Somebody's got to be the cool one, be willing to start the flow. Look up. All of us, me too, me too. Me too me Find too. the rings of light. Me too, me too, me too. This way, this way, this way to this the way, light. This way, this way. Find the rings of light and going up. Or having a hard time talking. <laughs> 